Hello, welcome to Blue Heron Tarot. We're going to do a read for Scorpio for the end of March. This will be about you and the person that you're thinking about, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We call in your higher self, Spirit, to give us a clear guided message about you and your person or anything else that wants to be revealed. It's time to disconnect from the world and retreat. You deserve love. Give your relationship a chance. Okay. Okay. Scorpio, I kind of feel like you are moving into, uh, well, it looks like there's going to be some heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Either you guys are taking time apart or you're taking um, like a resting period from maybe life in order to give your relationship a chance. I feel like you're telling your person that they deserve love. For some of you, you're telling yourself or you need to tell yourself that you are lovable, you deserve love. And kind of like shoot that arrow of lovableness, of love to those around you. Um, I feel like this is a time for you to, this is usually like a separation card, but for, um, I'm also getting just as a time to just take care of yourself or take care of your relationship um, for both of you guys. For others of you, it's like actually to give your relationship a chance, you need to just retreat into the love in which you are and to realize that you deserve love and that anything else that's showing up isn't really true it's not the truth it's not in alignment with love okay the devil your person Your person might have thought of you as somebody who has addictions, that somebody who gets too attached, but actually um, that you have set yourself free from those things or that you're working on them, you know? Like, it's like something that you might have been an addict of some kind, but they know that you're working on it. You, they know that you're releasing those tethers and or they are to you. Could go either way or maybe usually it's going on at the same time. So you guys in the recent past have been working on releasing the the strings right the the chains the 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 what's the word um the the binds that i can't think of the word right now this is so weird you know the things that like keep you bound okay to each other to lower vibrations, um, to addictions, to being overly attached. Those kinds of things are, are getting released. They're once there, they're getting released. Um, you, you are really working on doing the right thing. You're trying to align with love. You're trying to do each step you take, taking it on a clear, straight path. If you veer, you move back. Um, you know that this path when you're releasing this addiction is narrow. Like you can't fall short and fall into the traps of fear and addiction and attachment, right? So you're trying to keep your path really straight when it comes to your person, when it comes to you. Um, your person, any kind of secrets that they feel like you've had, it's, it's revealed, okay? They've been revealed. There's no more hiding. Um, but they also kind of are confused in some ways about what spirit is doing in all of this, I want to say. Like, they're not quite in touch or they haven't been in the past with, like, what, you know, what's going on above the veil, okay? So they're kind of confused when it comes to that. I've decided to take reverse. I don't, I don't usually... But for some reason, Scorpio, I felt like you would want me to. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so they do want things to be fair. They feel like things aren't fair. Um, they have kind of a skewed idea of, of justice and karma and needing things to be right or wrong or, you know, they're... they're they just feel like they've been treated unfairly in some sort of way. Um, and in a sense, 
it's it's keeping the flow of of, of uh, releasing karma stuck. So they need to really start accepting change, you know, really start embracing change, falling into change, and allowing themselves to embrace change and uh, and know that the wheel of change is totally when you release yourself to it, it can it just increases your expansiveness, your abundance, your fortune, your your soul, like, like your beingness, right? Um, Scorpio, I feel like you continually want to manifest this person. This is your desire. Um, in a sense, you feel like this person is your, your magic. Um, sometimes I feel like it's possible you could feel like this person has too much of a foothold on you. Um, yeah, so your person is kind of needing to be more active, getting things done, making an effort. They are really lacking in some in, um, of their internal strength. You know, it's like kind of like, there's a, there's a lot of like major arcana coming out in the reverse with your person. So there's a lot of energy being repressed. Like karma needs to be served. The wheel needs to be turned. The the action needs to be to move forward <coughs> in balance. Like there's an in, this person, your person wants balance, but they feel like there's an imbalance, and um, they're they're not in touch with what this all means. Um, so they're letting go of their addictions. They're letting go of their attachment. You know, a lot of secrets are being revealed. Um, at the same time, they're just not quite in touch with what spirit is doing in all of this. So there's like some repression. I feel like spirit is urging them to move forward, either move forward towards you, um, move forward towards their life path, their career, balancing out their energy, getting over the fact that things are unfair and like really creating the life, like not being victim to the external circumstances which is a pattern they're probably used to, right? That they're they're unwinding from. So I do see all of this stuff, you know, right now they're working on learning about how to embrace change, learning how to expand in their consciousness, learning how to move forward in their life path, their own to balance out their own energy, to move from the promptings of spirit in in as a part of what they're supposed to do here, right? Um, and all that will actually help. I feel like your person's really trying to give your relationship a chance to work on this with you at this, like by letting go of, of codependencies and addictions and learning about who they are. It's just kind of still internal, working its way to the external. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Nice. All right. So, Scorpio, you you you're coming you in the past, you've come from a a place of distorted masculine en energy actually. So, you know, there's a little bit of an energy of it's my way or the highway. Um, you know, you have a lot of power, but you might be misusing it when it comes to this person, or you might feel like this person's misusing it um, when it comes to you. Um, yeah, there's definitely like, an, like a, a misguided power in the past going on. You do get what you want. Um, your person in the past, when they look at you, they feel like the war is over. You know, they're kind of in a place of surrender when it comes to you and your relationship. And uh, you do desire them. Like you do, that's, they are who you want. Oh my God. And, and, 
they are communicating with you. The communication between the two of you is looking really strong, actually, and they feel like you're moving towards them, okay? So you're not blocking them off. Um, they feel like you do want to communicate with them, that you do want to move towards them. Everything is like, okay. And you two are working on getting stronger in your own strength, right? You're working on going within and finding your own, actually just, you need to complete feeling strong too. The two of you guys need to move into your own strength, move outside of the distorted. It's like you guys were in an addictive, codependent cycle together apart. There were addictions of involved and you guys are unraveling from that realizing that you are the love that you deserve you're retreating you're giving your relationship a chance and you're allowing this distortion to unfold unravel and so you're completing these different cycles and then the next cycle comes up to be released okay your person needs to you know go in and embrace change and allow that change and, and, and recognize that the, the combination of the change is is part of their abundance and their expansiveness and then moves them into releasing karma and getting what is truly theirs, right? Um, where justice is served as you will allow spirit to, to move you, to, to allow things to move and change within you. And your person's also um, learning, you know, how to move forward and balance out their energy and follow the promptings of spirit and do some of their life work here that they're meant to do. This is a part of the healing for them and for both of you. Um, you are learning to, you're holding, it's like you're allowing, Spirit's been doing a lot of work with you, Scorpio, <laughs> a lot of like Jesus coming back and like slaying the funky shit, right? So that we can live in peace on earth, right? Um, <laughs> it's like you're slaying the, the dragons and the demons that no longer serve you, okay? And when, it's like sort of like you're completing that in order to see a new world, see a new vision. And I think that that's, that's inside of you and it's, it's starting to come out, the new age, the age of Aquarius, you know? It's like, you're, it's interesting that the reverse cards get like a little bit more psychological. Um, so you're basically ready to, you're getting ready to be ready for this new cycle in your guys' relationship. But first, there is sort of like surrendering to the divine because the divine is cleaning up the shop, okay? All the tethers that were between the two of you and in your life, they're getting singed. They're getting disconnected, okay? So that you can move on to a new cycle, surrendering and allowing and knowing that that is there. It is there. It's happening for you and for this relationship. I think the communication between you are is very good right now. Um, even an awareness that this is happening on some level. I mean, the reverse cards is like, you're not truly, like you're not quite aware of that going on, but at the same time, I think you guys are talking about it. I think you guys are on that direct path um, and just doing a lot of work together to get to, get to a new cycle, to realize the love that you are. I mean, I really like this read actually. The, the nine, um, the hermit in reverse two is, yeah, it's just you moving into your strength, working on heart over mind, working on soul over mind, higher self over little self, um, and uh, not letting the addictive, you know, aspects control you, right? Um, so you're getting ready to go, oh, gosh, it's almost like I feel like you're getting ready to disconnect yourself socially, okay? You're not quite there yet to do that but it's like that's coming next for you 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 might be holding back but there is a time for you scorpio you know and it might be like being forced upon you and you're resisting it but it is time to go inside and allow that inner light to guide you okay judgment is here the light is here to really set the captives free which is like setting the illusions the distortions the fear bound over identifications you're setting yourself free to to really walk in love to be in love period to be happy to be at peace oh my gosh 
This is interesting that I'm doing this for Scorpio. <laughs> um, it's a different kind of read when I choose to do reversals. Very different. I don't know. This actually wanted to be in reverse too. That's so annoying. Um, <clears throat> rest and reconsider. Okay. Okay. There's just a lot of learning going on between the two of you guys. I'm on the fence whether I want to do reverses in the future. It's just so, it's too particular. Um, <clears throat> maybe, we'll see. Yeah, okay, so yeah. There is a need to start looking at, well, the magician likes to come out upright. You, Scorpio, you do get what you want. You're good at manifesting, okay? So when these reverse cards all come out, it's like helping, this can help you realize what you are manifesting because this stuff's kind of buried internally, you know? It's like it, you're being called to reach out, work with spirit, um, see everything as a mirror reflection, as a, as a lesson, Um don't resist what what is right that's that you are working with spirit spirit is holding your hand reach out release um everything is a mirror everything is you and the easier you realize that these things are coming in for you the easier it is that you will manifest exactly what it is you want um because the magician card is coming out so strongly on your side, you will manifest what you want. Um, you will. This is it, this person is your wish, wish fulfillment. They just like you know they're resisting resting. They're also like in the future they still don't quite get it. You know, like they just don't quite get get it, which is fine because it's hard to understand. Like it's hard to totally know what's going on. <laughs> um, you really are getting over the devil comes out in reverse. And there's that emperor in reverse again. Okay, you're you're learning to let all of this messy mess go Scorpio, and to trust. Um, let go of the control. Um, the Emperor in Reverse is just a distorted masculine energy. So like, you know, maybe some of you guys aren't organized. Maybe you're, you guys are abusing your power, not supporting yourself, not supporting um, spirit, kind of letting the ego run the show. It's like a selfish energy, making money for making money's sake, doing things just for the sake of doing them. Um, you're letting go of those kinds of addictions though. So I feel like right now, specifically when it comes to your relationship and what spirit's basically saying like, Hey, this is the point of all this right now. Let go, just trust, surrender to the divine, let go of, of the need to control. Okay. You've already given up a lot of like your addictions and a lot of your tethers towards each other. Okay. And also in general, like it's been taken from you um, or you've stopped, you know, doing old patterns, you know, whether it be alcohol or whether it be negative thinking or whether it be, you know, needing external validation for, you know, loving yourself instead of just, to, you know, to feel love instead of loving yourself, that kind of stuff. You're letting it go. You're learning to trust. Um, you're learning that you are lovable. You're teaching your partner that they are lovable. The more that you learn that you are lovable. Um, it's just this, this reading is just showing kind of all the stuff that you're going through and what's coming up next. Um, know that you are healing. It's coming up. Know that you're working with spirit. It's a part of it. Allow yourself to rest. Your partner needs to, to 
to rest in in their truth okay your partner needs to rest in order for the truth to come in for them um sometimes you need to rest in order to embrace the change in which is going to help expand this relationship there's so much change going on for you and your person and i do see that you are like together you know either in the 5d or in the 3d or however you want to see it you're working on this partnership. You're working on yourself. You're working on releasing what no longer serves you and you're taking this partnership or spirit is taking this partnership to another level. And you're, you're, you're leaning in and you're trusting. Lean in and trust. Rest as much as you can. Realize that everything is you. And the spirit's working with you guys this whole time. These I'm not going to do reversed. Just declaring that right now. <laughs> Just like, can't do. Stability, partners. Endings, beginnings. Transformation, eighth house, that's your sign. I'm getting a stability between the two of you guys, but there has been a lot of transformation and there is continu it's continuing. All right, there is the ego deaths, the transformation, the releasing of addictions, attachments, codependencies, distorted thinking, um, needing to control, not knowing the truth, the disconnection to the divine, misinterpreting it, you know, those kinds of things. That is going to work itself out and this partnership is gonna become more and more and more stable, okay? Or you will, Scorpio. I mean, if if this person's not with you right now, this is the, this is what's happening is like between the two of you. But you are becoming more stable because of the mere reflection of this partnership. Start to see it. Okay, you're a part of a team of souls calling support. I mean, the support is there. Realize the support. Okay, know that it's there. Pulse of mother, slow down. Time and nature. Yeah, there's a serious message going on for this reading to slow down um there's a little bit of avoidance on both of you guys side it's like you want to do 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 to make things change and happen but the change is actually gonna happen when you slow down follow the promptings of the spirit connect deeper the breath of the cosmos my will to thy will micromanaging the universe and that is the micromanaging the universe is that emperor in reverse um Really, really try to get to the higher mind. Release and surrender the need to control, the need to know. Allow yourself to rest. Realizing that the do, do, do is actually like a hamster spinning in the wheel. Okay? So I just see you guys working, working, working on this. Um, gaining your strength, gaining your connection to the divine. Learning how to trust. This relationship is teaching you that. This relationship is also teaching you to let go of your addictions and your attachments and your codependencies. It's like really beautiful. Um, and your partner's really been seeing that and doing that as well. So I don't know. Let me know what you think of this reading. Um, it could have just been like, I don't know. It, it, the reverse was the, it's, my, it's a first that I do reverse general. Okay, so... Take care, Scorpio. I hope you liked this. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I do get personal readings. My information is in the description box. And take care.